guys, for today's project, we're making this beach kimono. So if you wanna see how to make it, just keep watching. I started with two yards of this white cotton fabric. It's a nice lightweight kind of semi sheer cotton fabric. So the first step is to determine what size you want to make. I want mine to fit a little bit on the larger kind of flowier side. So I'm going to be measuring out where I want the arms to hit. I want it to hit kind of just below my elbow. And also I'm going to be cutting out a large piece for the back and two pieces for the front. So the front's going to have two panels and the back's going to be one large piece. So we'll get to all that. In in a moment here, I want to show you the lace I'm going to be using for the trim. The entire piece is going to be trimmed out with this beautiful lace. I actually found this at Walmart. It was just so gorgeous that I knew this had to be in this project. It was going to be perfect with this fabric. Here's the large rectangle piece that I cut out for the back. And here are the two panels that I cut out for the front. And right at the top of the two small rectangles for the front, I cut off the inner corners to create a V-shaped neckline. So I'm making a size large, and if you want those exact dimensions, I'll have those ready for you in a little bit. This is just kind of a rough estimate right now. I'm just kind of measuring things out still, but I will have those dimensions for you as we go. To hem the edges, we fold over about a quarter inch of the fabric and iron that flat, and then we fold it over again and iron it once more. So we're doing about a quarter inch hem on all of the raw edges of all three pieces of our fabric. And we're just using a regular straight stitch for all the sewing in this project. And of course, beginning and finishing with a little back stitching to lock the thread into place. Now it's time to start adding the lace. So we're cutting a piece to fit the front panel. This is at the very top where the shoulder is and we're just pinning it into place. So this lace is gonna join all of our pieces together and it's gonna be the trim down the sides, the neckline and the very bottom hem. So we're just sewing it onto the back now. So this is right now joining the front panel and the back. And you can see here, we did one side and now we're gonna do the next side. We're sewing the second front panel with the piece of lace right at the shoulder. So you can see with it all laid out how we're kind of putting it together and how it's coming together. So right here, we just overlap that lace directly over the hem of the fabric. So basically it's just kind of hiding that hem and don't forget when you're sewing to make sure that you have the pretty clean side of the hem facing outward and the not so clean part facing inward so you don't see that part. I want to trim on the sides too so I cut two long pieces to fit both of the sides of the garment and you can go ahead and trim off any excess trim now and just make it flush with all the edges of the fabric. And now we're sewing that side trim on that we just finished pinning. And here's how it looks so far. Now we're going to be working on the front neckline. So right now we're just taking the iron and just trying to iron this little edge of the trim flat just a tiny little bit. And we're going to go ahead and hem that because this part of the trim is going to be visible. So we want to make sure it has a nice clean edge and it's not going to have any fraying or uh, it's not going to be coming apart or be visible at all with any rough edges. So you can see it's nice and smooth now. It's been hemmed and it's going to go right here. So this is kind of the intersection of the shoulder where it meets the back. And here's the other side. So you can see the trim is all cut flush there. So that little curve from the neckline, you can just make that, you know, a real gentle curve and just add a few extra pins right in that area to hold it down into place really well. So we're just sewing that little top portion of the trim to the back of the garment, lifting the presser foot, turning the fabric. So right at the very top, you should see that your neckline trim slightly overlaps on the edge of your shoulder trim. And that's exactly what you want to give you a nice clean finish. And then just go ahead and sew your trim into place. Now we're going to enclose the sides. So right now I'm measuring in five inches from the edge of the fabric and I'm placing pins there. I'm pinning the top and the bottom pieces of fabric together. And now from the top of the shoulder, I'm measuring down 10 inches and that's going to be my sleeve. So I'm going to place a pin sideways here at 10 inches and that's where I know I want to stop sewing. And now we're just sewing exactly where I place those pins all the way down that line and that's going to enclose the sides of our kimono. Now this next step, I am cutting down the center of my kimono, yes indeed, because I realized that I wanted it to be a little more narrow. So I'm just taking out about two and a half inches and we're gonna go ahead and hem that or sew it. So it's gonna be one piece again. So that's why I said at the beginning that I was gonna give you those exact dimensions later on because it was all kind of an experiment. But I had to share this with you guys because it was just it was just too much fun. So here we go. I'm just finishing it up. So you can see that middle part is stitched. And I actually really like the look of the seam anyway. So it worked out perfect. 
So right now I'm just preparing to pin the front pieces of lace onto those front panels. And so we're pinning and sewing both of those pieces in on both sides. And the edges are hemmed, by the way, of the trim because they were going to be visible. So you want to make sure that those are hemmed as well as the edges of the back piece of trim. And we're going to sew and then that's it. And you're going to see the final results right now. And here's how our kimono turned out. I absolutely love it. It's so lightweight and comfortable, perfect for the beach. Also for the dimensions, the final dimensions I came up with for the fabric pieces, this does not include the lace or trim, but just for the fabric, the two front panels are 30 inches in length and 19 across the bottom, 17 across the top, because remember we cut that V-neck into it. And then the back is 30 inches in length and 42 inches across or in width. And if you want a smaller size, like I said, I made this a large because I want it to fit uh, a little bit bigger, a little bit flowier. But if you want it to be smaller, if you are, if you have a smaller frame, then you can just cut the fabric a little more narrow. And it's up to you, the length that you want. So I hope you guys enjoyed this project. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.